Howdy Tiger families, this is the Tiger Tales video brief for the week of November 12th through the 16th. We're all familiar uh, with 1901, Spindle Top is what started the oil boom in the state of Texas. Well, not too many years after that, in Humble, the Moonshine Company was an oil company. In 1904, they hit it big and it went from about 100 families in the Humble area to almost 10,000 residents in a matter of weeks. So what we saw is we saw the growth of schools, um, the number of students went from about 32 students in 1904 to um, a couple years later to about 271 students, which led to the first school bond. And at that time, in 1909, that school bond was $10,000 to build an additional school or two. Around that time in 1909, uh, we had our first uh, superintendent who was Henry Womack. At that time, schools were only went up to about seventh grade, which was intermediate school. But over the next couple years, decades or so, then um, high school um, grades were added as well. Um, and lastly, and in 1919, the 36th Texas legislature approved that the common school districts of 28, I believe 35, um, were officially became Humble ISD. All right, so moving on to uh, things for this week and next week. So the Veterans Day um, is today on November 9th, and we want to thank all of our veterans, whether you were able to um, participate and join us or not. Thank you very much for those who served in peacetime, in wartime, to protect the freedoms and allow us to enjoy uh, the benefits that we have as a nation today. And all our prayers go out to family members, AMS families who still have family members that are serving overseas or um, in our um, United States. The Fall Fest that was going to happen tonight, just want to remind everybody, um, it is um, postponed until Friday, November 30th. Um, we're anticipating temperatures in the mid to low 50s with some winds 10 to 15. That's not uh, enjoyable for uh, having uh, being outside and watching um, a movie, so we have moved that to November 30th, so please mark your calendars for that. Today, November 9th, is the end of the third um, week of the, uh, th of the third week progress report for the second grading cycle. So once again, uh, next week, you're going to want to check those grade reports. And if your child is struggling, reach out to the school, reach out to um, teachers um, so that we can uh, work with y'all to form a schedule for tutoring and work on what other um, supports that we can provide. Just to let you know, our counselors are meeting. Um, if they haven't already, they're meeting with every child that uh, failed or, or multiple classes failed to figure out what their individual needs are and to support them as well. This, th we are in the second grading cycle, which basically goes through the end of the semester. Um, but I wanna let you know that this semester already is one week shorter, but it also has the, um, the exam week uh, which actually is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I believe the 18th, 19th, and 20th of that week. Um, so really, this um, six weeks is even a shorter with instruction because of those assessments. So uh, we really only have about three or four weeks left that kids need to make sure they're studying, um, practicing, doing their homework, um, so that they have um, good grades, because there's not gonna be a lot of time to turn it around if they do struggle with a test or a project at the end of the grading cycle. Just a lot of celebrations that I need to share with y'all. First of all, our football teams, last year, if you recall, five out of the six were either football teams were either district champs or co-district champs, and that's phenomenal for our um, male athletes. This year, our, six, our uh, seventh grade boys did very well, However, our eighth grade boys, just I don't, uh, all the teams, 8A, 8B, and C, um, all were undefeated. And if you took the cumulative scores um, of AMS, we had 761 points compared to the opponents. It was just over 100. So really, um, it was just absolute domination um, for our boys. And congratulations to their hard work and success. It started all the way back in seventh grade and this year. Our volleyball teams, I would say one of the best collective um, successes that we've had over the years. Both our 8A and 8B went 5 and 3 in district, which is phenomenal. Our 7A got second place in district, and our 7B was competitive in those games as well. So very proud of our um, lady coaches and our young ladies that were on that team. We're in the middle, I'm sorry, the girls are in the middle of basketball tryouts. Our boys start tryouts on the 12th. So please make sure you have um, all the necessary prerequisites to try out for that. Um, our arts are doing some phenomenal things. Of course, Regent Band, Regent Orchestra had a lot of students that were uh, earned those um, chairs. 
uh, specifically our um, region orchestra and we had I believe two students that were first chairs in all of the region 33 so it's quite an honor that performance is going to be um, coming up very soon I believe it's even tonight um, at Porter High School so if you're uh, will, able to come out and see that but our chamber orchestra um, it has an opportunity to perform um, on the same evening as the Kingwood High School Choir um, to celebrate um, the Umbel ISD 100th anniversary. That's going to be on November 16th. That's a Friday. That's going to be at the um, Bender Performing Arts Center, which used to be, I believe, uh, the original high school, Umbel High School. So you're going to want to be able to purchase tickets uh, through the um, Performing Arts Center, the Bender Performing Arts Center, to see um, them perform next Friday. So congratulations to the Chamber Orchestra. Uh, lastly, just want to say, we're, um, early in the phase of our vision, you know, individual passions is the portion about doing project-based learning. That students are actually authentically creating products, authentically learning with experts in the field. If you are a first responder, um, fire, medical, police, even the Coast Guard first responder, uh, we are looking for uh, uh, those first responders for next Friday, November 16th, to sit down with our seventh grade reading language arts students so they can interview you because they're going to use those interviews to help them develop a character that they will use in a, um, uh, a fiction piece that they're going to be writing. So if you're able to, um, email Ms. Wiley or Ms. Anderson. Uh, we especially need people on November 16th in the afternoon um, for, for our kiddos to interview. Also, if you're an aeronautical engineer, um, specifically, to, or someone who uh, parachutes, uh, would be able to lend your expertise in the spring about skydiving, um, drag, uh, Bernoulli's principle, or uh, if you have expertise um, or just knowledge about uh, civil engineering when it comes to roller coasters. Uh, we're going to be doing some project-based learning in late spring, and we would love to have you just consulting our kids as they design and build uh, possibly roller coasters or something that can uh, float in a wind tunnel. So these are some of the really great things going on. There's many more. Um, this would be a really long video, uh, but we only have one week until Thanksgiving. So if you need anything, of course, um, please let me know or someone on my team and we will support you. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.